Hey Taurus, this is your horoscope for October 2018. At the beginning of the month, you're going to notice that you have a lot of interest and energy when it comes to your career, your health, your well-being and your day-to-day -day routine. On the 5th of October, I've got a little bit of bad news, I'm afraid. Venus, your ruler, goes retrograde until the 16th of November. Now, and it's in your 7th house of relationships and it's in Scorpio next to Jupiter, which is going to take the edge off it a little bit. But um, Venus in retrograde is not a good time to start a new relationship or to fall in love because someone's going to seem wonderful and per perfect. The pink mist kind of descends, but they're not perfect or at all suitable in any way. So try not to get involved in relationships during this time if you can. Also, starting a new business during a Venus retrograde, uh, not a good idea, big no-no. So it stays in Scorpio as well, which is super intense. So Venus is about, I need this. It feels like I'm going to die if I don't see this person again. So it's really over the top. From the 6th to the 8th, you're really focused on family relationships, having fun, connecting with uh, people you're close to. On the 9th, we have the new moon in Libra, and that happens in your 6th house of work. So the new moon, I'll make separate videos on the new moon and the full moon just to give you some more info. But as far as you're concerned, Taurus, it happens in your 6th house of work and daily routine. So a lot of this charming Libra energy is being pulled in. Mercury sitting on top of it at 29 degrees, which is 2 and 9 is 11, master number of service. So you're really going to pull in a lot of energy on the 9th of October, which is going to help and help you over the next month make wonderful connections and to be of service to other people. On the 10th of October until the 30th of October, Mercury, the communication planet, goes into Scorpio. And it goes into Scorpio in your 7th house. So combined with the Venus retrograde there in your 7th, you're very likely to be in relationships and to have a lot of relationships go on and there's the potential for relationship trouble because Venus is in retrograde so you may not see things clearly the other person may not see things clearly it's not the month to, to make a big decision about your marriage wait until Venus goes direct on November the 16th <laughs> November the 16th and then make a decision because it's not the time to do it. Everything seems topsy-turvy. Like when Venus is in retrograde, it's really a tricky time because everything seems perfect. I'm so attracted. And then on the 13th, it's like, what was I thinking? This is not suitable for me at all. Over the next couple of months, your time will be taken up with relationship stuff, working responsibilities, Really, that's going to pick up on the 15th of October through until the 30th of October. The sun is in Libra in your sixth house. So you're busy working and you're doing really well and you're, you're getting on well at work. That's the big blessing of this month here for you, Taurus. But Uranus is sitting in your sign of Taurus just underneath your rising at zero degrees. And it's saying, mess things up, create some chaos. Let's throw away our job and go traveling for a year. And that lasts until the 30th, okay? So there's huge friction between saying, should I just continue to work for these people who don't appreciate me and wash their dishes and serve them food? I'm no longer interested. Me, what about me? <laughs> I want to travel. I want to have new experiences. I want to be powerful. I want to say something. So for you, Taurus, it's also because your, your ruler is Venus, you're particularly going to be drawn to kind of starting a new business or really just throwing everything up in the air and starting over. Don't. It's not the best time to make huge changes and it's more likely to land you in hot water than it is to actually serve you. It seems very wonderful and po fabulous, but in reality, it just messes up your life afterwards because it twists everything and you see things incorrectly. So through then until the 23rd, you've got the moon going through your 10th, 11th and 12th houses. So again, you get a kind of respite here and focus on work, 
professional relationships, social relationships are good as well. The 23rd is a really great day for you to kind of meditate, uh, to see if you really want to find some freedom in your life and you want to make changes. The 13th is a good day to meditate and to really get an idea that you can trust despite the Venus retrograde. On the 24th, we have the full moon in Taurus. So it's your moon. The full moon also sits on that Uranus in Taurus and the moon releases all of its energy. So you're going to feel super, super inspired to just do things your own way and to hell with everybody else and to, um, I'm going to, you know, this relationship doesn't seem good. Uh, this man seems toxic or dangerous or poisonous, but he's just so hot. I'm going to go for it anyway. Be really careful, Taurus, because you guys fall in love quite quickly as well. And you can be drawn in by someone's looks. And here around the 24th with this full moon in Taurus, you're really going to be interested in in uh, sensuality, connecting with another person, love, romance, sex. The Moon, Venus, Mercury and Jupiter all in your seventh house. So uh, it's going to be hard to kind of stop yourself. Make sure if you are having relationships kind of thing here, make sure you don't put too much, take them too seriously. I'm not telling you to go out and be promiscuous, but if you are dating, then please don't take October too seriously because it's really unlikely that you're going to meet your soulmate while Venus is in retrograde. On the 28th, the clocks go back in the UK. Uh, clocks change in the States on the 4th of November. Uh, but the moon goes through your first, second and third houses here at the end of the month. Oop, let's see. So the end of the month is going to feel much more uh, upbeat practical, you feel more grounded, you feel more able to communicate. You're also interested in helping other people. Halloween, Mercury goes into Sagittarius. The moon is in your fourth house of family in Leo next to your north node in Leo. So this is a great time to really achieve the things you want family wise. So, you know, I want to show my children. I want to, I've always wanted to take my children to Disneyland and give them that as a present. You can do that on the 31st and really make a wish come true as far as your family is concerned. So it looks like a great month for you. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you next month.